Hi everybody, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Photoshop Elements and Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in the Elements Organizer. Now the Elements Organizer is a file management program, more specifically a media file management program that comes bundled with both Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements. There are a number of great tools also buried in here. So in addition to a file management tool, the organizer also serves as a great creative tool. I'm going to select a range of photos here just by clicking on the first photo and then holding down the shift key and clicking on the last. So we've got a range of photos selected. And from the create menu, I'm going to select photo prints. So it's gonna send these pictures here to my printer. You'll notice that once I do that, I have the options for sending it to a local printer, picture package, contact sheet, or Fujifilm. Now if I select Fujifilm, it's actually going to be sent to Fujifilm who creates some professional uh, photo prints of these pictures. That's a very nice service. But these three all go to the local printer, my personal printer. And no matter what you choose, you have some options. So I'm going to select local printer here and we'll see a preview of what's available. Now there are three different selections for the local printer. There is the option to have individual prints which it is set to right now, a contact sheet or a picture package. Individual prints gives us each picture at, as you can see my options here, four by six. I'm gonna set that down to three and a half by five. Let's make it a little smaller. So all of the photos appear and my printout would include every picture at three by five. Now I don't particularly like this option because you can see what it does is it takes this wider picture here, trims it down for some reason into a narrow picture. And this picture, this wedding picture down here, for some reason it cuts everybody's head off. So I generally don't use individual prints unless I'm printing one photo, right? If I'm printing more than one photo, as in this case, I may be printing off a contact sheet. This is sort of a proof sheet that I would give my client or my friends and say, here are all the pictures I've taken. Right now it's set for four columns. We can change that setting right over here by making it five columns, which will make each picture smaller, depending on how many pictures you want on your proof sheet, or I usually do three. Your client or your friend can see all these photos. This is a nice size for the photos, and it puts them all on one page if you'd like. If you keep making these columns smaller, it may spread it out over a couple pages, but it's a nice proof sheet, a contact sheet, showing all of the photos that are available so that you can choose the best from your printout. Finally, there's my personal favorite for printing out several photos, and that is a picture package. And a picture package gives you every photo at full resolution and at full size here, or it is set right now to three by five. I'm gonna boost it up to four by six. And you can see every one of the photos I've selected, we have five pages of them now. Looks very, very nice. And we get a nice, decent sized picture. This one here, I'm not sure why that is rotated. Oh, but I can select it and rotate it to the left. And it still seems to cut off a little from the left and right. But even still, my picture package will have every photo and they'll all print out very, very nicely. So a number of options available for printing out your photos here from the organizer. And in fact, a number of great tools well worth exploring and getting to know here in the organizer. A power packed kind of just add on tool for Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements, but one well worth digging a little deeper in it. If you want to dig deeper into it, I dedicate actually three chapters to the organizer itself in both my moviepix.com guides to Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements. Those books are available at Amazon.com, and I'm always available at MoviePix.com. Hope to see you there. I'm Steve Grizzetti.